Hello, NASA. My name is Maverick Brashrup, and I am a senior at Park High School in Livingston, Montana. My uh, <coughs> experiment that I did today is titled Up, Up, and Away, and it is simulating microgravity and what that effect will have on capillary action with three different liquids. Um, I got this idea from Don Pettit's video of Beastronauts with uh, the teacup um, and how the capillary action kept the tea within the cup instead of free floating around. So for my experiment, the different tools I used were uh, I used water, vegetable oil, and 70% isopropyl alcohol. And I had them in uh, some tubing that was made out of disposable eyedroppers. And I dropped it the first couple of times, um, but uh, you know I didn't get too much results. So I changed out the uh, the tubing for some uh, uh, the ink capsules from pens. I uh, cleaned those out really well, and because the diameter of the tubing was smaller, um, I got a significant, significantly, significantly uh, better result. Uh, the isopropyl alcohol um, actually raised quite a bit here, and uh, the water and the vegetable oil, however, did not show any change. So, uh, for my results. Uh, yes, you, as I said there, the isopropyl alcohol uh, had the change in it. Um, and my conclusion for that was that maybe the viscosity of these different, uh, these different liquids were very minimal, but enough to make that much of a change. And um, for a, as a, maybe a better thought to this, that um, if there was more time to simulate microgravity, then uh, the water would show a significant change as well. Uh, for our drop or for our simulator for microgravity, we have this tub here with Velcro strips here that we attached our experiments to. We have a black backdrop, and it could be white depending on what our uh, what our needs were. And then we have two flashlights here to illuminate the inside of the box, and the camera would go right here. And with this box, what we would do is we would drop it from 2.3 meters high, that was the height of the ceiling, and it would land in a refrigerator box filled with packaging peanuts and cotton. Um, so this uh, simulator for microgravity lasted all of about 0.68 seconds, but it was enough to make a change. And then we would uh, record these with the camera and watch them on the computer slowing them down so that we could view and see what exactly happened. So then, uh, for my uh, ISS uh, experiment that uh, I figured would be interesting was to uh, take four ounces of water and have it uncontained in a free-floating environment. And you take 19.1 centimeters of dental floss and you wrap this around this uh, sphere of water. This year is the math to find that circumference. Um, so, if with the microgravity, uh, the tenth or the uh, surface tension of water is significantly changed. I guess it's more apparent, and so I would like to see if this dental floss would, for one, stay holding on to the uh, the sphere of water. If that were true, then you could uh, try and scrape away some of the excess water to reveal a plane that was inside of the dental floss. And if that stayed, if that was possible to do that, that you could get away some of this excess water, then I would like to see if this, uh, if this water were to stay in a planar surface versus going back into its spherical shape. My hypothesis was to was that it would go back into its spherical shape because the dental floss does not have the, rigi the rigidity to contain the uh, water so that it stays in that shape. Um, and this here would be my actual experiment for what I did uh, in class here today. We have our capsules here, the alcohol with green food coloring, the oil in the middle, and the red over here is the water with red food coloring. And my tubes were suspended with wire that was provided to me. And once again, my name is Maverick Brastrup. I'm from Archive, and I'm a senior. Go NASA.